What is up guys, Rhythm Rider back again with another epic adventure. Today guys, I'm in the US of A with Urbex Freaktography, he's right over there. What is up Dave? What's up guys, what's up guys? We are at an abandoned nursing home. Uh, yeah, I think it was a long-term care facility. But anyways guys, doing this entire video with the through night T1 flashlight. This bad boy packs 1500 lumens of power. We're gonna do the entire video, review this little guy. It's got a magnetic bottom, super small, rechargeable battery. But anyways guys, let's get it. Alright guys, so we're on the top floor of this abandoned nursing home and as you can see, it's very decayed. It's been abandoned for quite a long time. This is actually mine and Freetography's second visit here. We were here probably three or four years ago, but we wanted to come back and do a video here because we would never shot a video. And like I said guys, I'm using this little T1 through night flashlight. This thing is crazy bright, as you can see. I'll do the entire video on it, using it. Look at this. Gotta love those paint peels, guys. Now there's, this place has probably got five, six stories at least. We're not gonna go to every single little room, just because it would just take forever. The video would be like two hours long. Look at the decay. Got moss growing on the ground there. Now guys, the GoPro Hero 5, which I'm using, doesn't do that great in low light. So that's why I want to use this through night to see how the quality of it is. And so far, I haven't really had a chance to test it, but we'll get there, guys. Well, I'm looking over here and those floors, Super sketchy. People have gone through there. So I gotta be careful. I thought this place had concrete floors. But here we go. The through night is on right now. Look at how bright this is. You can see pits of like a mural. Maybe that was tagging. these stairs now up just goes to the roof so we're not gonna bother with that guys but look quite high up now this place is uh, really cool it has some really unique features and one of the most intact something I'm not gonna give it away you guys are gonna have to wait well, there's an open hole here. So there is concrete here, but there's holes in the floor everywhere. This is a place you want to be on your, your, like your A game when you're exploring. You know, guys, I'm curious to hear what you use for light. I've got multiple lights. Always need more light, lots of lumens. You know, some flashlights will tell you there's X amount of lumens and it's not actually true. This one, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing so far. So I'm gonna go down a level because we've already pretty much seen this floor. Not a lot to see. I'll give you a little peek out the window to see how high up we are. And remember guys, this is an abandoned building. So we had to climb all the way up here, not fun. Oh, 
these stairs are just beautiful. Okay, guys, so we're now on the second floor from the top. I wish I knew what number it was. I can't tell you that. But, like, down there, super decayed. We're going to go. This would probably be the front center of the building right here where that kind of half circle is. Or maybe, no, I can't tell. To be quite honest, guys, it's been a while since I've been here, so I'm not entirely sure of my bearings. This apparently is the north wing, according to a sign I saw. And like the paint peels everywhere are so amazing. This is the kind of location I love, guys. It's big, it's old, it's got like so much crazy history. Oh, look at this. Another awesome staircase. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just getting over a cold, guys. Look at this room. It's back here. Oh, nothing. So this probably was like an activity room. You got fans on the ceiling, and there's a couple washrooms. So that tells me this is probably, you know, the patients would stay in the halls or down these main corridors. And down there in each end of the wings, they have these little rooms for, oh, so this says 402. So I'm assuming we're on the fourth floor. And these would be patient rooms here. So you've got the lights, so one bed, two beds. Two beds in here. You probably got a private bathroom for the two of them to share right there. It actually looks like communal because it goes a door over there. So they have probably two rooms. Four people would share one bathroom. As it's darker here, let's get that true night going. Or through night, sorry. Look at the paint peel. Just leaves such awesome textures on the wall. Looks like we got a utility room here. Nothing really exciting in there, but look at the ceiling. Totally frigged. Guys, you're watching this, you probably want to get your tetanus shot just for watching this. Now there's two settings. One is dimmer and then one is ultra bright with this flashlight. Guys, I recommend it. It's handheld, super small. It's got a magnetic end that you can clip onto places. surprising a lot of windows are broken but not all of them and a place in this state it's really shocking to see now there is a story that goes with this place and apparently there were some scrappers in here and the police came and they brought the canine unit to come capture the scrappers and from my understanding is that when, the, uh, when the, 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 the police dog actually went up onto the roof and jumped over a ledge, thinking that there was a landing underneath it, and there wasn't, the dog ended up jumping right off the building, unfortunately, which is very sad. But the scrappers, my understanding, were charged with, uh, with some sort of uh, criminal neg negligence causing death or something like that. So, they were already in here scrapping, which is obviously against the law, but having a police dog die in the same, same time, it's a serious offense, and they were definitely getting that pinned on them. Oh, look at this. Another hydrotherapy tub. Wow. Or maybe that's just for regular bathing. It's probably for regular bathing. It's just for people that you know, have no ability to lift themselves in and out of tubs. All right, guys, so that's about it for the fourth floor. Now that we know what number we're on, 
Now guys, I'll put my pictures of the original visit. I'll put a blog up of it. I don't think I'm gonna take many pictures here today because there's not much of change. It's, you know, I don't really see the point. We've got a lot of stuff to already explore. But I'll definitely show you guys my pictures because I know you guys like to look at the pictures too. Okay, so now we're on the third floor. Light her up. Look at these paint peels. Thick paint peels too, guys. And you know, as you can see, everything's relatively the same. Uh, it really makes a difference having that light on. Got an old radiator here. And it seems this, this, this is another room. I went up on the fourth floor in the same room. Just, and it also has just as much paint peely appeal. So look at that, guys. This is with the light on, off. This is level one. You can't even see it in full blast. Look at this wall. Gotta love that green mossiness growing. All the plaster's worn off and just piled up. The thing about this place, guys, there is graffiti, there is a bit of vandalism, but there's more natural decay than anything. And what I find about this place is that it really has an old asylum feel to it. You know, the wide and tall corridors. Oh, Freaktography making lots of noise. I can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear that. But like this right here reminds me of an old asylum. <coughs> guys, I apologize for the coughing. Like I said, just getting over a cold. Almost wasn't able to make the trip, but I spent the week getting myself better. Oh, look at this. Another hydrotherapy tub or bather or whatever, but it's in the same section, but a floor lower than the last one. That's friggin' awesome. So this is now the center area. We're one floor down from where we were before that was like tetanus city basically is what I want to call it. And the interesting thing, guys, I don't know if you can see out there, that house right there, those two houses, are both abandoned. It's really crazy to see so much abandoned stuff. And, you know, in the States, it's a lot different than in Canada. Uh, I don't explore abandoned houses down here unless they be mansions, because in reality, they're just not the same. You've got so much bigger stuff. Look at this. So guys, this is the chapel. I really love this place. This is so cool. You, st you know, as much of the stuff has been destroyed, you can still see behind me. You've got nice, ornate, you know, details up in the ceilings and the walls. It's a really sick spot, guys. And look at the wall. Wow. Just moldy as ever. piping chairs weird oh and it also does a strobe effect wow again here's the center room guys and look at this actually has a door to go outside I'm not going to go out there, though.
we're getting we're getting through this place pretty quick guys like I said there's not a lot we need to see oh there's no no hydro tub in here I was expecting one because that's the same room you know I'm gonna say guys overall I'm quite happy with the uh, the strength of this little flashlight it does get pretty warm but I'm not having any issues holding on to it and I've got to you know as you can see bare hand it's interesting the lower down we get in this place the more graffiti because the taggers probably don't want to walk all the way up the stairs but I guess they eventually will have to when there's no more places to tag Look at all this. The same room on every floor looks about the same in terms of decay. All right, guys, there's no mirrors yet, though, so I'm kind of disappointed we can't say what is up, guys, yet. I think you can hear Dave hollering down here. Wait, what's... So this would be under where the chapel area was. Whoa. Old equipment covered in just filth. Got a, um, probably a medical a medication safe there. And for those of you who are wondering, the air in here is completely fine. I'm not even seeing any particles floating around, which is surprising. This building is full of lead paint, asbestos, and all that good stuff that a growing boy needs. But despite all that, no issues. There he is. Urbex Dave. He's freaktographing down there. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> Comment down below if Freaktography should grow a mustache. I heard another car, just gonna do a quick peek. All good still. So we got one more little spot, guys, on this second floor before we head down to the first floor. And down there, there's something I'm really excited to show you guys. You know, it's places like this, I tend to start at the top floor, work my way down, get the heavy lifting out of the way at the start. Wow, this goes over to the power plant. Whoa. I don't know if you guys can see through there. We'll get over there from a different way. Those are looks like boilers. I know there's a way to get to them where we came in, so we'll go check those out in a minute. Don't need to get sidetracked. Wow, Ele 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 elevator cables cut. Another activity, day room kind of thing. And essentially, guys, retirement homes, long-term living care facilities back in the day, they were no different than asylums. All right, guys, down to the first floor.
This is super creepy down here. Look at the walls. How they got like black soot and it's all dripping down. Oh. What is up? This is great. This flashlight is lighting everything up beautifully. And if I'm not mistaken, guys, I believe the cost is $50, $55 Canadian. Oh, what's down here? Oh my God, look at this. Guys, this is insane. Legit full dentist office still set up. Super creepy. So guys, this is a scale, and people would sit on that, probably for people that couldn't stand up. They put them on this chair so they could get their weight. Super dark and super creepy down here, guys. All right, guys, well, that's the end of this epic adventure. Freetography right here. We're inside this creepy, creepy, creepy dentist office, but abandoned, nursing home, awesome. Anyways, guys, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Freetography, the Freetography's link down below. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Smash the like button. Remember, guys, always come back, because Rhythm Rider always has that epic shit. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.